Hey everyone, welcome to IndoorSkydivingTips.com. My name is Henry and today I'm going to be explaining the neutral stable backfly position. So when you're flying around on your back, make sure to always have this 90 degree angle with your hips as well as with your legs right here. You don't want to pop your hips up. If you do that, it generates a lot of force uh, and a lot of wind on your back. So don't do that. Always keep your hips back. Your, el your knees should be bent at a 90 degrees at all times. Your feet should be pointed apart. Now, as you'll learn in the next video about turning with your feet, uh, this way it keeps it neutral, so it's not sending you in either direction. You will use your feet to turn, but you can learn about that in the next video on how to turn in a backfly position. So everything should be nice and strong right here. As far as your chest should be maybe a little bit proud, so you're catching some of that wind on your back. Your chin should be back and you should be looking up at the ceiling and your arm should be extended past your head so that you're catching that lift. Now some of the big problems that I see people do when they're trying to learn this position is first off, they don't extend their arms out far enough and that's really key especially when you're trying to get lift uh, for the upper part of your body. So if you have everything close here, it's going to send, um, think of like forward and backwards when you're flying on your belly. If you're going forwards, you bring your arms in. So if you bring your hands in like this, it's going to send the direction towards your head. Kind of a dangerous position to be in. So slow that down and get that lift by extending your arms out. Another big problem is people, whether they realize it or not, uh, sometimes twist their body a bit which can cause a spin. So keep a nice straight body when you're un in your back flying position. As I already mentioned about your feet, you want to have your feet wide, uh, especially when people are just getting used to the back fly position, their feet get carried away by the wind and you'll see it flapping all over. Point your feet to the side and be really strong there. So also another big thing is keeping your chin back. Now the reason you want to keep your chin back is it helps get that lift. When you're following either me or another instructor and trying to see them, a lot of people will stick up their head just like this, which is not unusual, but to get that lift you want to tilt your head back. A way you can fix that problem if you can't really see the instructor is to you can keep your head in the same position but you can look around this way and still get that lift on the back part of your head. But remember, keep your head back. So probably the big keys to success, first off, staying nice and calm inside the wind tunnel, keep a nice straight body, and then do all really slow controlled movements and you'll get back flying a lot easier. So if you like this video and you want to see more, you can visit my website, IndoorSkydivingTips.com. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.